This video is going to walk you through how to buy native rune using ThorSwap. This will allow you to have rune in its actual useful form, which is the native ThorChain rune. So it could be added to liquidity pools or swapped with other assets. And you're also having true custody over your rune as opposed to holding it on a centralized exchange. So Rune is, of course, the native token of ThorChain, which is a protocol that allows you to swap tokens across different blockchains. So to acquire this Rune, we're actually going to be using ThorChain itself via ThorSwap and swap in from any other asset on ThorChain. So it's going to be just one single swap from whatever token you are starting with to native Rune. But of course, first step is going to make sure that we have a ThorChain compatible asset in a wallet that we can connect to ThorSwap so then we can be ready to do that single swap. So you do have a variety of different assets that you could be swapping from and various wallets that can connect these various assets. But for this particular example, I'm going to be using XDeFi, which is a multi-chain browser wallet and I'm going to be swapping from BNB, but the process is the same from any token. Just keep in mind that you are trading using these actual blockchains, so the native fees do apply. So uh, BNB is one of the cheaper options. So I can see my wallet connected and I can see the various chain addresses and balances, and I currently don't have any BNB, so I'm going to send it over from Binance, a centralized exchange, just to show you that process. But this would be the same for any chain. If you wanted to start with Litecoin, you'd send Litecoin in here. If you wanted to start with Bitcoin, you'd send Bitcoin in here. Ethereum and ERC20 assets would, of course, be here at your Ethereum address. So if I need to get my asset in here from a centralized exchange or from a different wallet, I'm just going to copy the chain address for the token that I'm going to be sending in. And in this case, that's going to be BNB. So again, I've got my BNB address, but same process would go for any of these assets that you wanted to start from. So I have some BNB over here on my Binance. So I'm just in my wallet and on BNB, I can withdraw. And whenever you're doing a withdraw or a send, just make sure you're selecting the right coin and you've got the correct type of address that you're sending to. So in this case, I don't need a memo, but just a note, if you were ever sending to a centralized exchange, be mindful of needing a memo to make sure that it gets into your account. I can see that it detected that the address is correct. BNB addresses start with BNB, not to be confused by the way with Binance Smart Chain, those start with zero X. So my BNB address is receiving BNB, everything looks correct, and I'm going to withdraw all of this BNB and just confirm and there will be a few security steps just to follow through with and it's hitting me with this warning that it could take up to 12 hours for approval this is of course part of the reason why we want to have self-custody over our own coins then back on thor swap i can just refresh and wait for that to arrive and did not take 12 hours only took a minute or so and then i can see my bnb here in the wallet ready to go so now we get to do a decentralized swap on ThorSwap, and all you have to do is select your from and to token. So I'm going to select my BNB. I'm going to do all that I have. Yes, native rune is what I want. This is already set to my Thor, native Thor chain rune address, which is the one I have connected. And just seeing the fee breakdown, and we swap and confirm. Now we just have to sign the transaction in our connected wallet. And we can see the swap pending here. Uh, as far as amount of time, it depends on which token you're sending in and just uh, the speed of that particular blockchain. But you can always track it here and you'll see it pending your receiving token here. Okay, and a minute later it says received. We can look in our wallet and see 48 native rune here at our ThorChain address. And that is the same process for any decentralized swap on ThorSwap, any chain to any chain. Just keep in mind the fee depends on the actual gas fees of those chains. 
but BNB to native Rune is a quick and cheap path compared to say Ethereum to Rune uh, would have been subjected to the Ethereum gas fees. So BNB to native Rune is just a suggestion, but you can start with whatever you want. So with that one swap, you've got your native Rune and you're ready to go with any other swaps you wanna do or adding to the liquidity pools. You now have your native Rune in your own wallet.